Patricia Ann Carroll was born in Shreveport, Louisiana on May 5, 1927. Her family moved to Los Angeles when she was five and she began acting in local productions. In 1947, Pat made her professional stage debut in A Goose for the Gander, which starred Gloria Swanson. Her first film acting credit was in 1948's Hometown Girl. After appearances on a variety of television shows, Pat became a TV regular on The Red Button Show in 1955. This made Red Buttons an overnight sensation, and the show became famous for its behind-the-scenes turmoil. The show only lasted two seasons, and Pat was only in the first season. According to George Burns, Pat became too popular on the show, and Red had to fire her. Also in 1955, she made her Broadway debut in Catch a Star, which garnered her a nomination for a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Musical. In 1956, Pat won an Emmy for her work on Sid Caesar's TV show, Caesar's Hour. Pat explained how she almost killed Sid Caesar in one sketch. She was playing a waitress in a restaurant who was scared of losing her job and she hit star Sid Caesar in the back of the head with a tray. He was under the table, and she panicked. Then she saw his shoulder shaking. He came up and whispered, I'm going to kill you. I've got such a headache. Pat felt horrible. She almost killed Sid Caesar on television. Pat continued to appear on numerous TV shows throughout the 60s, 70s, and 80s, including being a regular on The Danny Thomas Show, playing Bunny Halper, the wife of Danny's nightclub manager. In 1963, she had been cast and signed on to the role of Jane Jetson, with Maury Amsterdam cast as George Jetson. Her contract stipulated she would be paid $500 an episode, with a guarantee of 24 episodes. She and Maury recorded only one episode before being replaced. Several sources claimed the change had occurred as a result of sponsor conflict with Make Room for Daddy. She and Morty filed a $12,000 lawsuit against Hanna-Barbera for breach of contract. The court ruled in favor of Hanna-Barbera. Pat played the stepsister, Prunella, in the 1965 TV movie of Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical, Cinderella. She later played the fairy godmother in a 1989 Broadway production of Cinderella. On TV, she played Lily, the mother of Shirley Feeney, on the TV show Laverne and Shirley. Other notable TV appearances included The Carol Burnett Show, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Love American Style, Police Woman, The Love Boat, She's the Sheriff, playing the mom of Suzanne Summers, Designing Women, and ER. She also appeared on many TV game shows, such as Password, To Tell the Truth, and Match Game. In 1979, she departed from comedy to star in the one-woman show, Gertrude Stein, Gertrude Stein, Gertrude Stein. She won a Drama Desk Award for this role and toured in this show for four years. In 1980, she won a Grammy Award for her recorded version of this show. In the 1980s, she began providing voice acting for a variety of animated programs such as A Pup Named Scooby-Doo, Pound Puppies, Garfield, and Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Her most memorable voice role came in 1989 when she played Ursula, the sea witch, in Disney's The Little Mermaid. It was her first time being cast as a villain. She did both Ursula's speaking and singing voice, making Poor Unfortunate Souls one of the best villain songs in musical theater. She portrayed Ursula in many more animated shows as well as video games. All right, helping others is what I live for. Let me guess, you wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. In this clip, we see Pat performing Ursula during a live appearance. But you'll have your man. <laughs> a life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Oh, and there is one more thing. 
We haven't discussed the subject of payment. Pat Carroll often said that Ursula was one of her favorite roles. She said she saw her as an ex-Shakespearean actress who now sold old cars. She's a mean old thing. I think people are fascinated by mean characters. Pat was also in the legendary television bomb, You're in the Picture, hosted by Jackie Gleason. Of that show, Pat said, it was a bomb. It was a Hiroshima of television. I felt the audience go, what's going on here? Now there is a motley group. <laughs> this happens to be a historical event. And uh, as a clue, I might say that this is a slice of life. Now, uh, we'll begin the uh, interrogation with you, Miss Carroll. Would I be considered or would I be allowed as a guest at the inaugural ball tonight? On the next show, they had us waiting to go on, holding our chairs. Jackie Gleason had the only chair in the set, and he did a national apology. Last week, we did a show called You're in the Picture that laid... <laughs> Without a doubt, the biggest bomb. <laughs> Pat Carroll is a lifelong member of the actor's studio. She married in 1955 and had three children. Pat Carroll died of pneumonia in her home on Cape Cod, Massachusetts, July 30th, 2022. We remember Pat Carroll. <laughs>